Hello, hello, Scorpios. Welcome back to the channel. It's the Seed and Tarot. And today we're going to do a full reading. We're going to see what's going on with you and your person, okay, and see what details we can find out. If you are new here, Scorpio, remember to like the video if it does resonate with you. By liking the video, YouTube sees that. Push the video forward into a bigger audience so the video can grow, so the channel can grow. Scorpio, we're almost at 10Ks. You guys helped me to reach here. You guys made this possible and I hope that you guys continue to push this channel through into a bigger audience and with all the love and support that you guys give like you guys give me. I am just so grateful. So thank you, thank you, thank you. But if this message does not resonate for you, I will have a link in the description box for you. It's going to be your playlist. So hopefully if this one does not resonate, one of those messages there will. All right, Scorpio, let's get into your reading and see what's going on with you and your person. Angels, any messages for Scorpio? Any messages for Scorpio? Scorpio, we see the Seven of Cups in reverse. I do see the World card in reverse as well. And I see the Seven of Pentacles. My goodness. Hmm. Wow. So I feel like somebody is definitely not content with themselves. They don't even know who they are at this present time because they're taking risk, Scorpio. Very much a lot of risk with the Seven of Cups, okay? I felt like your person cheated on you with a lot of different people, okay? I feel like you found out about this. Um, I feel like, you know, this person was caught in their lies and deceit. I feel like this person, you know, they the people that they cheated on wasn't even long-term um, people that they wanted to be with. It was just in the moment situation um, that they have done this and things has went too far, okay? Um, and now the relationship is in jeopardy, okay? I feel like Scorpio, the Seven of Pentacles is here, like someone is not ready or not wanted uh, continue to invest in this relationship with the seven of pentacles okay they're putting a stop to this um they're walking away from this let's keep seeing what's going on here some cards just flipped over a manipulative energy is coming through here anything else that flipped over and then the strength card is required all right so the strength card is required in this situation because of a lot of conflict, a lot of things that's going on in your relationship, okay? I feel like the manipulative energy in the emperor, the stubborn energy, this energy that wants to be in control of the situation, wants to be in control of this relationship, wants to be in control of you, Scorpio. Now, keep in mind, Scorpio, this could be your energy coming through, but if it's not, this is your person's energy as well because not all Scorpios are controlling, okay? <laughs> I am not. But anyways, you guys, um, you know, I just feel like, you know, this person um, in the in the Empress being in reverse is not only controlling, but they're kind of abusive too. They are mentally and physical, uh, physically abusive. They're trying to control the situation, trying to put you, um, you know, into their palms, you know, trying to make you feel like there's nothing out there for you. And I feel like this is something that's going on because of their lies and deceit, you know, their insecurities, you know, they feel like you are going to leave them. And I feel like I see that in a seven of pentacles, like Scorpio, you're not in a plain mood at this present time. And you're putting a stop to this whole relationship because this person was very much a liar. I feel like, you know, this person is not happy within themselves. And this is why they do what they do. This is what makes them happy cheating with other people and, you know, entertaining other people and, you know, to make them feel Feel good because if something is missing within them okay it's not even about you um we have the four of swords here scorpio i felt like you walked away because this person was giving you anxiety but i feel like somebody is gathering up the strength right now to confront this energy um because they feel like they don't have enough strength but the strength card is here because somebody's trying to gather up their energy here get it their confidence um, I do see someone walking away from this relationship because there was just so much going on. Like, no, 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 no. 
I, I can't go through this, you know? Um, they needed to reset. They're re reset at this present time. They're better. They're better to take on situations. And it's up to, you know, you, Scorpio, if you're ready to move forward for this person or to communicate with this person in the Four of Swords, okay? You don't have to, but I do see that you're at a better place, okay? Because you walked away from this person. Oh, wow. These cards came out. What is this? The Queen of Pentacles and wow. Woo, Scorpio. So this is a strong pull. You're going to have a hard time getting over this person. This person is a Six of Cups. So this is your past person, okay? Your past person coming through here. We have the Queen of Pentacles. We have the Six of Cups. We have the Hermit. All right, Scorpio. This is definitely um, your energy, the Hermit right here. <laughs> And the Queen of Pentacles. I feel like you're just, you know, in your own world right now and trying to do you, not trying to listen to what this person has to say and people around you at this present time. I feel like you're trying to take care of yourself, okay? Um, for some of you, you might be expecting a child because of this, you know, Queen of Pentacles um, being in the reverse. But, you know, with the stomach situation here, but you don't have to be, but that's an indication that some of you might be expecting. Um, you know, and I feel like, you know, your ex is coming back. There's a lot of love here between you and your person is not just them that's feeling this way is you feeling this way. You have a lot of love for this person. This person has a lot of love for you, but this person has issues. Okay. Have issues that they need to fix. All right. I do see that you're just, you know, doing you Scorpio with this hermit here. I feel like this is definitely your energy. You are just trying to like be very positive, uh, moving towards yourself, not even including your past, uh, partner with anything and this is just how you operate is not nothing like a shade or giving this person shade you're just just like you're just comfortable being by yourself and getting your goals done on your own and not expecting anyone's help and having your hand out to anyone you're like paying your bills by yourself and all of these things okay you don't want you don't need someone to help you you choose to have someone in your life and this is the difference between um you know Scorpios and everybody else. I mean, Scorpios can be by themselves forever. Okay. Um, we, the only thing that we do need sometimes is a partnership where, you know, we feel intimacy with someone. Um, just to, you know, I don't want to say it like that because not all Scorpios feel this way because, I sure don't, but at the same time, I can live and be by myself. I don't need anyone to be with. Um, but, you know, sometimes we do have that empty space where we need someone for that intimacy, okay? That uh, partnership, that, you know, physical attraction, that physical touch we do need. Um, and I feel like in this relationship, you know, you're pointing that out. Like, you don't need anyone. You have yourself. You're doing your goals, achieving your goals by yourself, and you don't need anyone to be with at this present time, Scorpio. Um, you chose this person. You didn't need this person, okay? Uh, let's see here. Wow. Okay. All right. We have three of cups here. We have the queen of wands. We have the ace of pentacles. Okay. This is looking good. This is looking good. <laughs> so, you know, all of this thing situation here that is happening in Scorpio, I just want to let you know that Yes, you have your trials and tribulations in this relationship with your person giving you anxiety, cheating on you, and all of this. And I'm going to say, because someone, like the last reading I said, um, there was a lot of people that this person, like someone was cheating on. I don't know if it was a Scorpio video, but you know, the Seven of Cups talks about seven choices, okay? So this person been around, okay? you it's just not one person. So don't even think that it is. Um, but, you know, I feel like someone do want to move on with this relationship, even though Scorpio put a hold on this relationship at this present time. But someone definitely wants to move forward in engagement if you guys are not already married or engaged or getting to that point. This person wants to move forward in this relationship for some of you. It could be engagement. It could be moving in together. It could just be, you know, giving you each other a title. 
in this relationship i also see that this person is going to give a long-term commitment it's going to be a more stable commitment it's going to be a more serious commitment and you know this person do want to ace of pentacles and happy ending with you a legacy build a life with you because scorpio i see that you're the hermit and i feel like you are making a life for yourself when you are in your twined okay you're not really preparating for other people you're trying to make life for yourself but this person sees that and they want uh, abundance with you because they know that you're the right one um you know the six of cups talks about soulmate connection you know soulmate connection coming through a very very strong pull so with this relationship even if you try to move on you're constantly coming back to each other because you know it's just a pull there is nobody like this person even though this person is flawed okay all right so we have the king of swords we have the three of uh, wands here and we have the nine of the cups okay so you know there's going to be a lot of communication coming towards you with this king of swords here there's no joke about it all right this person is going to talk about the opportunities that they want with you okay they don't want you to go away with anyone else and they don't want you to sail away with anyone else if that makes sense okay sail away all right they're watching you they have a decision to make okay and they want you to make the right decision as well when they give the give you this opportunity okay Okay? because they feel at this present time they have done too much in this relationship too much damage and with the nine of cups here which this person have a lot of love for you i'm not gonna lie scorpio because they do with this cup here with this uh nine of cups in reverse i mean i it still talks about you know you are everything that they want to be with you are their wish you are their person but you know they feel like yeah they're going to be prepared um if you do decide to walk away from this situation because they're going to give you the three of wands this you know decision that you have to make towards them okay um and they're preparing for this you know relationship going south okay the justice does fall into your favor okay because this person did this to you they will find clarity you'll find clarity in this relationship like i said this person will come to you in the king of swords and this is a serious conversation that you guys will have okay and that's why the justice is here they're going to give you all the answers that you seek so for, i'm sorry for those people that thought they had a a, a chance with this person cheat and i'm sure these people know that this person was seeing someone else but you know people just don't care these days and now this person is like uh my god i don't want them i want you kind of situation and they're going to give you all of this um answers that you seek okay and it might be just too much for you honestly scorpio you might just look at this person as a different person after they even tell you all of this all right then we have the nine of pentacles okay in reverse and the nine of pentacles talks about you know this guy or this girl they're just not happy being by themselves happy being single and this is why they're going to come back to you because this is not what they want for themselves single life is not for them this is not what they what they chose they want to be in a relationship but yet they're making all the wrong moves okay but i feel like scorpio you're gonna end up blocking this person or shut off some kind of communication with this person because they're just doing too much to try to like i said can i go back to what i said i said this person is gonna give you all the facts all the details and you might just change your mind about this person scorpio or might it look different from this person because this person is gonna come through with the clarity with this justice and you're just like at this present time I feel like you're going to block them after that. You're going to be like, listen, this is not what I want. This is not what I signed up for. You got to get your bags and go. Okay? <laughs> That's what I feel. But let's see the conclusion with this relationship, Scorpio, and see. And remember, nothing is set. The future is not set. You know, whatever decision you decide to make, it does change for you. Okay? So. All right. <clears throat> The angels, what's going on for Scorpio? Mm. All right, so this person is coming through with the page of swords. You know, very childish energy here, very childish energy. They all they want to do is just forget about this, talk about this, move on about this. They do not want to stay into the past about this, but I feel like you are giving them this like hard time right now, even coming to you, Scorpio. And that's what I see coming up for this person in you. All right, what else, angels? Any messages for Scorpio with the situation, with the conclusion, with the situation? Okay. 
All right. All right. So, you know, I feel like at a time, Scorpio, oh my goodness. So, you know, this person's energy is very immature energy. I feel like the way they're coming off is mature, immature because of the fact, <coughs> excuse me, because of the fact that you decided to put this Ace of Pentacles on hold, okay? This whole relationship, this legacy, this working together, this abundance, okay? To put this on hold because this person has too many options, okay? This is the situation that you guys are fell in, all right? But now it's in the upright, you know? These people are still there, though. These people are still there, okay? And this person is juggling these people. Or, you know, I guess these people know that you are the one, but they're still there. And I feel like this person has a lot of options, a lot of options. And these people are, oh my God, they're not, like I said, they're not permanent. Like this person doesn't want a permanent relationship with them. Like, <coughs> excuse me, like wants a committed relationship with them. They're just trying to have fun with them. You know, it's all about having fun here in the page of uh, uh, swords, you know? But because of their wrongdoing and what they're doing right now, you're putting a hold on their legacy. You're putting a hold on their um, relationship at this present time with you because this person seems like they don't even learn from their mistakes. They're like, okay, I'm going to stop, you know, sleeping with these people, but I'm going to still text them, take pictures, hang out with them, you know, whatever. Even still sleeping with them for some of you. But they're just not, they're letting that person know, hey, it's not going to go anywhere further from here. You know, that's a sick, sick way of thinking. <laughs> then we have the temperance here. We have the four of pentacles and we have the four of wands. Wow. Wow. All right. So, you know, I feel like this relationship in time, you will tell that if it's worth it or not, because the angels are saying time will tell all tales, you know, with this situation. But I also feel that this person has a lot to learn because this person gave you a lot of hell in the four of pentacles. You know, I feel like for some of you, this person was very selfish and they recognized that, okay? They wasn't taking you out enough. They wasn't appreciating you, you enough. I feel like this person wasn't there for you enough. And they realized that. But for some reason, someone is manifesting this 1111 card, okay? Manifesting this happy ending with you. This abundance with you. This relationship with you. This healthy relationship, okay? Because that's what they want. But I do see you, Scorpio, okay? You are the high priestess here, okay? You are clear-minded and you're making a decision for yourself, okay? You are, yes, you can be secretive, but I feel like you're not codependent and on anybody right now. And you are following your, your intuitions and your feelings towards this. Because this person put a lot of pain into your life. A lot of betrayal, a lot of money issues for some of you. Because the 4 of 11, the 11, 11 card talks about marriage. So for some of you, you could be married to this person already. Okay? Two people in a house living together. Um, married. Um if you're not married, you could be living together or you just could be serious, okay, between each other. Um, but I feel like, yeah, you're making this choice for yourself because this person left you, left you in the cold. It could be, this person could just left you for someone else too. It could have left you for one of these uncommitted issues, okay, these issues that are not even going to be long term, <laughs> you know. Um, but, you know, those cups really uh, have a mask. Like everybody in these cups have a mask. Uh, you know, different, you know, descriptions. They are really snakes in some of them, you know. Yes, some have heart wings or, you know, roses and stuff. But a lot of them are not good options. And this person can be blind to other situations, okay? And I feel like for some of you, this person left their, you know, their person for one of those issues, all right? But the strength card is called here because someone is trying to gather their strength to confront you, and I feel like it's your person who hurt you, okay? They're trying to gather their strength here to come back towards you and talk to you about the situation, all right? Oh, my goodness. Let's see here what's going on. What's the conclusion here for this reading? For Scorpio Angels. 
here also. I feel like this person is going to try. I feel like there's a soulmate connection. I feel like it's a very strong pull, Scorpio. Again, um, it's going to be a point where this person is grown up, though. I feel like they're going to grow up when you uh, decide to go on your own and leave this person behind and finding out all the clues and everything that you need to find out because this person wasn't giving it to you. And, you know, you're just going to walk away from this person. And this is when I see that this person is going to come through for you, okay? Um, giving you this um, opportunity of a second chance, wanting a second chance with you, and being more whole within themselves. I feel like it's going to take time. Like the temperance is here. Time will tell in this relationship. Time is needed for this person to grow up, okay? You might have to leave this person behind so they can blossom into a more content, a more understanding person, and offer you this cup. But, you know, I feel like when this person is content with themselves, you might just move on with your life. Or you could be single. It could be the perfect time for you guys to get back together. But I feel like most of the time, you know, when these people get their lives together, they are, you know, missing out on an opportunity, okay? All right. Let's see here. Hmm. All right. Oh, yeah, yelling. This is this is crazy. Okay, so we have the tower here. We have the nine of uh, wands here. We have the magician. Oh my God. So you guys are going to fall. You're going to have a lot of problems, you guys. I'm just going to say this. I see the tower happening after this person comes back in again. The magician, you know, this person losing their minds in the reverse and being very careless and reckless. I feel like we have to talk about this, Scorpio, because this person tends to be reckless when they feel like something is not going their way. And I feel like even when they were in a relationship with you from the beginning, you know, this person tends to fall into this trap of cheating. I feel like this person feels good when they cheat, okay? This is how they, they know that they... I feel like it's something to do with their childhood, okay? They don't know how to love. And I had a similar reading like this as well. Um, you know, this person, you know, would have everything and then just put it in jeopardy with other people that they didn't even love. You know what I mean? Um, not like how they love you or care about you. And, you know, I feel like this person will come in again um, after a while, but I feel like the same situation will happen. And, you know, the tower moment will take place again, okay? For misunderstanding or to something that they have done okay and I feel like in the nine of wands here this person is not ready to give up on this relationship but Scorpio I feel like you are because you're not fighting for this relationship anymore I feel like they will but they are very careless and reckless because they're very upset when you are not in their in their life they feel like they don't they don't have anything to live for and I feel like this person constantly sleeps with other people and put their life in jeopardy and I'm gonna say that again this person sleeps with other people and they're not safe, okay? They're doing it without protection, okay? And then coming back to you. So that's something that you have to think about, Scorpio, if you want to can have into your life, all right? Because I do see like this person is fighting for this relationship in the seven of wands here. This person have a lot of love for you, a lot of passion for you, okay? I'm not gonna say that this person does not because I do see it, okay? With the six of cups here, it talks about a soulmate connection, okay? A very strong pull. This person loves you, okay? This person wants to be with you they feel like you're the one for them but for, for a long-term situation but you know they constantly have their cake and eat it too situation okay i feel like this person does want to take this relationship to the next level if you guys are not married already you got this person wants to get engaged this person wants to move in with each other but scorpio this is you the fools okay you might take this person back but you don't trust this person you will move forward with caution okay you will always remember what this person have done to you okay in the past this person betrayed you betrayed your trust this person um lied to you you know stabbed you in the back this person left you with a lot of debt and issues that you had to fix for yourself and you put an end to this relationship in the five of pentacles oh, oh honey you did when this person walked away from you and made a lot of uh, situations that does not need to be there you had to fix all of this and you had to put an end to all of this okay and because you are a strong person in the high priestess and you are clear-minded and focused you made a choice for yourself okay but like i said you know this person is not i feel like this person does a lot and then come back to you when the time is 
when it, when it's cleared or when the situation dies down a little bit and they try to make their move okay and i feel like you do love this person too scorpio because it talks about the six of cups where you both have mutual feelings for each other so it's not just this person it is you too and this is why i feel like there's a cycle here that goes around and around between you and your person all right but I feel like I covered everything here, all right? I feel like, you know, this person has a lot of growing up to do because the temperance is here and the temperance is saying time will tell all tales, all right? And this person needs more time um, to grow if you want to be with this person. But if you're going to wait for this person, Scorpio, you have a lot of trials and tribulations to go through with this person, all right? Before they find out or before they get to a place where they are calm, collective, and just, you know, relaxed, okay? <laughs> and not running around, you know, not busy. But anyway, Scorpio, this is what I have for you. If it does resonate, remember to like the video. Give this video a big thumbs up here on YouTube. Um, if it does not resonate, again, I'll have a link down in the description box for you. It's going to be your playlist um with all scorpio's videos so hopefully one of those messages resonate like i said remember scorpio don't rem don't leave this video until you uh, thumbs up this video because uh, you know without the thumbs up here on youtube these videos doesn't go anywhere and we're almost at 10 10 thousand subscribers i cannot believe it you guys less than a whole year i think i've been here uh probably six to seven months now and you guys really were at 10 i was expecting to get to 2000 in a year so you guys really blow my mind you guys i love you guys um you know i hope this message resonate do not dwell on it too much just know that you know things do change people do change um you know always keep a positive energy um even if people do you wrong scorpio i know it's very hard because we are the, the one biggest sign in the zodiac that you know is misjudged and we you know we 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 tend to be the devil or the the worst sign of them all um you know when it comes to backstabbing people and getting a revenge but the truth is you know if you don't don't do things that you don't want to be done to you you know treat people with respect and you'll be treated with respect and that's how a scorpio is dedicated and that's how we lie all right so i'll see you guys in your next reading and i'll see you guys later bye guys